Before we get started on this pre-draft interview tour, all right, we got a few things to go over. First, the NBA sent over this personality test for you to fill out so they can get an idea of how you think, what kind of person you are. A test, man? Come on, really? <laughs> All right. All right, man. Before that, though, let's talk about expectations. How you expect your NBA career to unfold? All right, we got to make sure we always on the same page when it comes to goals and expectations. Okay. All right, let's start with the where. If you had your choice to play for any NBA team, who would it be? The only team that I can think of right now is the Los Angeles Lakers. I mean, I know they're a little short at their point guard spot, so I don't mind playing for this team. I don't mind at all, so let's go ahead and pick this. <laughs> yeah, that's the one, baby. You know it. <laughs> yeah, man, I figured you might say that, but you know, as your agent, I can't be assuming stuff. This will help me, though, when I'm behind the scenes working on stuff. Okay, okay, so... What is the one thing that's most important to you in your NBA career? Yeah, man, what's up? We done? Yeah, man, we're done. I lined up a few interviews with some teams that were really showing interest in you, all right? right? But before they talk to you in person, they want to get a feel of what your personality's like. So that's what that personality test is for. All right, so let's take care of that and then we can head out. Let's do it. All right. So we got the personality questions right here. There's actually five of them. And the first one, do you feel like the ball should be in your hands for the last shot of the game? I mean, of course. What kind of question is that? Second one, do you feel it is your responsibility to keep your teammates playing at a high level? I answered yes. Which of the following is more important to you as a basketball player? Now, at first I was like scoring, and then I quickly changed that up. I mean, I feel like the owners want to, the GMs and the owners want to see me put defense Players call plays instead of coaches. That's what I picked. And last but not least, are you comfortable adapting your role to whatever is best for the team? I go. I went ahead and put yes. Hey, how's it going? I'm the director of player personnel for the Trailblazers. We have the 10th pick in the draft and are interested in your talents. We just want to pick your brain a little before we decide. Let's get to it. This question is a tough one to ask as there really isn't a right or wrong answer. Over the last couple years, we've had entire seasons washed out by insurmountable injuries. As a franchise, we're becoming more conscious on injury histories and what that means for our draft picks. What can you tell us about your injury history and, more importantly, your ability to play through pain? Well, fortunately, I've been blessed with good health, man. I think the worst injury I've ever had was a sprained ankle, you know? I've picked up some knocks over the years, but it's never held me back in practice or in games. I feel like I'm a safe pick for you guys in that regard, definitely. Let's see, one more question, if you don't mind. I feel like we have our point guard of the future in Damian Lillard, but I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't look at all available options in the draft. How do you think you compare to Damian? Oh, I like Damian's game a lot, I really do. What it comes down to is that we don't really match up with what we bring to the table. That being the case, I'm not really interested in coming to Portland and clashing with him in our play styles. I'm a better fit elsewhere. Well, that didn't go quite as I expected. We'll see you at the draft. Nice to meet you. I'm president of Team Operations for the Suns. We're looking to use one of our upcoming draft picks for someone who can help our franchise take the next step. I think you might be that guy. I'd like to ask you a couple questions to make sure. Here we go. As a whole, the Suns have kept the same core for the better part of a decade. We found a winning formula and stuck by it, just rotating in supporting pieces where necessary. As I'm sure you've seen over the last year or so, we're in the midst of overhauling our roster. We really love the idea of you being a part of that process. What do you think about being a centerpiece for the new Phoenix Suns? I love the idea that you consider me a centerpiece. That type of confidence in me? I mean, how can I not love the idea? I'm interested in making a name for myself in the NBA. And Phoenix sounds like a great fit to me. Okay, last question. How do you feel about your performance in the Rookie Showcase? What stood out to you? Uh, I, I felt pretty good. I, I could have shot the ball a little better. I could have done some other things a little better too, but all in all, I think I did okay. Okay, thanks. We'll be in touch if we have any other questions. 
Man, you ready to talk seriously for a few minutes? Yeah, man, I figured you didn't just come over here to hang out like we used to back in the day. Yeah, not entirely, man. I mean, hey, I'll teach you a little lesson in some NBA 2K later. <laughs> you know, again. <laughs> Whatever, young. Yeah, we definitely gonna have to get a game in, but hey, let's get that business out of the way first, all right? All right, man, look. I know that you've been asked to do a lot to get ready for this draft. Heck yeah. I mean, besides the showcase, you got workouts and camps and interviews, and you handling it all like a champ, man. It's just one last piece we gotta sort out. What? Ah, come on. What is it, another private workout or something? With the Cavs? Nah, 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 Wizards? nah, nah. We, we done with workouts, Rockets, man. It's man. nothing like that. Hey, look. We got to get you a suit. <laughs> a suit? Yeah. All right. I can live with that, man. Good. 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 Because you know how this draft is, man. I mean, everybody's going to be watching you, so you got to make a splash. Uh, you seen how players in the past went all out? Yeah. Man. Noah? Yo, Harden? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Man, no one's forgetting that anytime soon. But hey, I can handle it. You know I look fly in whatever I wear, baby. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's up for debate. I got two words for you. Junior prom. What? Yo, I was styling back then, dog. Uh, yeah, right. Styling. <laughs> Come on, son. Oh, my Yo, God. Yo, I feel you, though. So what's up? What we got to do? Hey, man, look, don't even worry about it. I'm going to front you some cash so you can get something that works. All right. But if you can, you should consider kicking in a little extra just to make sure you really stand out. But that's on you, though. All right, I'm going to think about that. But hey, let's really get down to business. All right. NBA 2K, baby. Oh, come on now. Yeah, I'm going to whoop you, son. Uh, yeah, right. That'll be the first. <laughs> Don't be cheating, neither. So my agent, he did say he's going to, you know, lend me some money, but I only see 396 VC, and I only see that one purple suit. So I decided to go ahead and stick with the button up. You all right, man? Just relax a little bit. Yo, what if I end up being one of those dudes just sits here forever waiting to get picked, man? Hey, man, look. I talk to everybody I can. Everybody agrees you're a lock for the first round, all right? It's going to be one of those moments you remember forever, all right? So just relax, man. Enjoy it. Yo, it's just that... Talk to me. It's just... I'm about to find out which team I start my NBA career with, man. I'm about to find out what city I spend the next few years of my life in. It's kind of surreal, you feel me? Hmm. Look, man. It's all a part of the ride, all right? Just relax. Hey, here come the commissioner now, getting ready to get things started. Good evening and welcome to the 2013 NBA Draft. For 60 of the world's most talented and dedicated young players, tonight marks the culmination of years of hard work as their dream of playing in the NBA moves closer to reality. To all of the fans watching around the world and to those here with us tonight, thank you for joining us. And now to the task at hand. With the first pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select Anthony Bennett from Toronto, Canada and the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. With the second pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Orlando Magic select Victor Oladipo of Indiana University. With the third pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Washington Wizards select Otto Porter from Georgetown University. Ah, oh, man, still nothing. I really thought they might have gone with me. Nah, man, they always looked like they were going in a different direction, man. Hey, your time's coming, man. Be patient. With the fourth pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Charlotte Bobcats select Cody Zeller from Indiana University. Uh, 
This is crazy. Yo, how many picks we got left in the first round? Plenty of time. Don't worry. I'm not worried. I'm just... All right, man, maybe I'm a little bit worried. I didn't, I didn't realize how intense this was going to be. Hey, I have a feeling we're getting close. All right, listen up. Here we go. With the fifth pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Phoenix Suns select the 20-year-old point guard from the University of Maryland. Yes! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, baby! See, what I tell you, dog? Woo! First uh, round, boy! Boys, you got the first round, baby! This is your moment! Hey, go get that lid! <laughs> My man! You did it! Yeah! Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash boss. Once you have done so, I will keep you guys posted when I'll be uploading all of my videos. This is also a great way to reach me if you have any questions.